What up everyone? How you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome back to my gaming channel. Today we're actually going to continue the game I started last week called Lake. Many of you spoke up. Thank you so much for your feedback. You basically said, David, we want to see the playthrough. This game is actually pretty cool. So you know what? I'm listening to you. I googled it. This game is about seven to eight hours long, so I can't guarantee like I'm going to do a playthrough consistently, you know, video to video to video. But over the next couple of weeks, yeah, I'll dabble, if you will, into Lake, and then uh, we'll get closer and closer to the end. And guys, please keep in mind, I, I, I literally just woke up, took my shower, made my coffee, so I'm a little tired. I streamed for over eight hours last night, so I'm feeling a little bit. Uh, but you know what? I figured, why not play a relaxing game? So here we go. Lake, part two. Enjoy. All right, so we left off basically delivering the mail. Nothing too exciting yet, but judging from the trailer, things will get pretty exciting. Apparently, we're going to form friendships. Apparently, we could potentially form a relationship. And maybe there's some drama involved, you know? I don't know. So that's the beautiful thing about Lake. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Part of me wants this to turn into like a dark horror game, but obviously, it's not going to go that route. All right, so I think we need to go inside the post office. There's Frank. Actually, this is our first time inside the post office. Getting the hang of it yet? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. Thanks, Frank. Wait, do I have to deliver all of these packages? Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Nice music, though. Really, really nice music. I might do some fast forwarding here for you guys because there's only so many packages you need to see me deliver. Good morning, Providence. Unless they actually have something to do with the storyline. Let me see how far we're going. So, way over here. Okay. Yeah, we need to make a right coming up. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm, thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? So this one should be pretty easy. It's gonna take it to the mailbox, which is, of course, over there. Whoops. I didn't mean the honk. My apologies. I do wish you could run. This is the default walk. Holding RT makes you walk faster, but I think that's as fast as you can go. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Okay, okay. I'm so curious to see how deep the storyline actually goes. So, so curious. Thank you guys so much for watching this weekend's streams, by the way. Kind of a rough weekend in Valorant. Just very defeating mentally. But, uh, it was fun. It was fun. Oh my god, that cat lady's out. What's up, girl? How you doing? You got me just Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by! Uh -oh. oh, it's quite the emergency! What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer! You have to take him to the vet? He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. Um, I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. It's not the best thing to say, but let's say it. I mean, I'm not a vet, but... Starting to snow out, by the way. To me. Well, fact is, you're in not real life, a vet. not in Lake. Are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey? Okay. Lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Sure. Sure. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Okay. I like this. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her bed. We now. are starting to divert. Bye, Miss Jenkins. From Hi, Meredith. 
Mail delivery. See you soon, Mortimer. I like it. Oh my god, that was a quick turnaround <laughs> with the cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not funny. Seriously, protect your kitties. Oh, do I just enter with it? Okay. So, where... I, I, I keep opening that by mistake. Where's the vet? Is it on the water? No, let's go, baby. Let's see what Mr. Mortimer... Oh, I say it. I say it over there. It's kind of on the water. I mean, it is on the water. But not as deep as I thought. Like, far out. Far out, man. Whew, I am tired, guys. <laughs> but I wanted to get this video done for you, you know? I want to stay consistent on this channel. I cannot fall behind. My, my goal is to put out an average of three videos a week for you. Whether they're long videos or just short clips. Content is content, you know? I need to stay consistent. Is this my turn? It is. What a cool town, dude. I would love to live here. I mean, w w would you would you guys want to live here? I would. This place is pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to keep looking at my window, by the way. Apparently, we're going to get a lot of snow over the night. Um, maybe like eight inches. Which, which is a lot to us. Dude. Pretty cool place. I actually like that we're helping out the old lady. That's bait and tackle. Oh, is it in the back? That's why the waypoint is a little further to the back than I expected. Okay. So they're sharing a building, it seems. Is that Mr. Mackey? Was he just fishing? I don't know. Wait, bait and tackle. Mr. Mackey? Okay. I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Dude! Yeah, yeah. Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Okay. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Uh, cupcakes? I hope not. Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. <laughs> Is he just gonna hold the cat over the water? You better not drop Mr. Mortimer. I swear to God. Take care of him, alright? Alright, good talk. Good talk. There's fish right there. Just eat that, Mr. Mortimer. Alright, where to next? So yeah. We're officially beyond mail delivery. I mean, obviously, we're going to keep doing that, but I'm assuming along the way, we're going to have quote-unquote side quests such as that, you know? God, I wish you could run. Oh, baby. I feel like I'm too far from you guys. Come here. Come here. I don't bite unless, unless you ask me to. There you go. Yeehaw! It's not a western. I just felt like saying that. Alright, where were we? Autopilot engage. I really, really want to drink my coffee. You know what? 
I'm right here. Might as well get these uh, envelopes delivered. They're right down the street. Did I automatically slow down because I'm on a residential street? If so, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, look at this cul-de-sac. Dude, all right. It's pretty nice. The soundtrack's really relaxing, isn't it? Like it's, it's very, very relaxing. She didn't even look at the mail. God, I hope these people are getting the right things. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered oh, next. So she door. is looking. I'm My bad. Guessing party invitations. Mm, a party you're not invited to, perhaps? Is that what you're, you know, trying to say here? Let's go. Well, isn't that convenient? I am so sorry. I ran that stop sign. That's totally on me. But that guy didn't seem to care. So it never happened, alright? Ooh, VHS and Betamax? I have never used a Betamax before. Have you guys? Obviously I've used VHS. I was born in 85. I didn't bring the package. Oh shit, you're right. You're right, Meredith. She's like, I didn't bring the package. Where are we? Main Street? Yeah, yeah. This is cool. So we actually get to go into a movie store? Dude, that's like a Ghostbusters thing. You see that? Ghost Blasters. That's funny. The Kung Fu Kid. Like, Karate Kid. Back to the present. Back to the future. That's funny. The Maze. What is the Maze based on? Tell me. I'm drawing a blank. I don't, I don't think I've actually seen the real movie I know it right now I'm just not fully awake what's up welcome to the flick shack how can I help you got a package for you ma'am flick shack hold on you're our new postal worker talk about not looking the part I could say the same thing about you <laughs> I could say the same thing about you you could but you'd be wrong I look exactly like I own a video rental place. If you were looking to cast a movie wow. and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, Bitch. you'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. <laughs> True enough. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I used to live here. Um, I used to live here. Then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I Gremlins used to in the background, see that? Else, then I moved here. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Oh my Miss. god. The snow is sticking already. And I'm going out for dinner. I mean, I'm going to the pretzel's house. My mom's making fried chicken. If this snow messes up my fried chicken, I'm going to be real mad. So, how's business? It's uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure not for like long. You you better prepare <laughs> for the decade of streaming coming here. up. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice. The B, I guess it's based on the fly. Nothing quite tickles the imagination. <laughs> See the Terminator? Like the right movie What's like the, right time? the thermometer? Mm, maybe I so, should I watch know. more movies. Well, That's it funny. was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be. Oh, right the labyrinth! Alley. It just hit Postman the maze. The labyrinth. I got it. I got it. It just, it just clicked. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss, but touche, Angie. I feel like they're flirting. All right, I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack, and there's plenty of choice regardless. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. 
they keep emphasizing the word miss, you know? I mean, the brunch bunch, obviously the breakfast club, Scarface, Superman, Space Wars, obviously Star Wars, high voltage. Looks like Wally, -E, but it's not based in the right time. I don't know. Hope you like the postman always rings twice. You only have to watch it once. <laughs> I think she's flirting with me. Is it just me, guys? Look, Gremlins. That's funny. Alright, let's go. Cool place. That is oh my god, nice nice park job, David. Whoa, you almost hit me. Yeah, that's that's my favorite place so far. Cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Here's your mail. And we got a package right down the street. Today's Sunday, by the way, for me. When I'm recording this. So... Realistically speaking, I shouldn't be delivering mail. But it's okay. It's okay. Oh, shit. Package. David, pay attention. Pay attention. 402 Pine Street. This is like a very friendly GTA kind of vibe I'm getting, you know? No shooting, no hookers. Just a chill vibe. Ding dong. <laughs> Commander Grace, we oh, have God. established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed in the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Okay. We're the Evans family. Oh my Do god, I what the fuck? Real quick? I'm kind of in the middle Sorry for the of language. <laughs> just... Sure. Here you go. I did not see that coming. Nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Is that my friend that they show in the trailer? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing, the helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? You married him? You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. Very true. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Maureen! Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Oh, cool. Huh. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. I, I love I love the whole small town vibe, Listen, by the way. I'm sorry, but How I everyone just knows each other. Right now. People Can't go to the diner. Own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans, 
<laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. An alien! You can say that again. The writing's actually really good. Okay, so I saw my best friend from 22 years ago just now. Kind of awkward, but really cool. Where are we going? It's where we go. Where's my truck? Oh, I'm over there. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So we need to go over her. So make a left and then a right. Incoming! Yeah, my, my speed definitely increased there because I'm on the main road. Pretty nice design choice. I like that a lot. Very smart. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to drive. May I deliver? Oh, thank God. Mail delivery. Hold on, sir. You, you can go around, you know. Oh, he's thinking about it. He is thinking about it. Excuse me, sir. Enjoy your day. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the? <laughs> wow! I caught a bug on the video. Hell yeah, dude! That was funny. I I tried to stay on top of it. Dude, that was cool. All right, where are we going? What is this? Woods? Oh, we only have one more package? Y'all are being dramatic. It wasn't that much work. Come on. Where's the pack? Oh, it's way over there. <gasps> oh, that's a far one. Guys, I'll see you after the cut. All right, we're almost there. It took maybe two minutes. I see it. I see it. Slow down, David. Slow down. Oh, it's a motel. Cool. Pretty sweet. I like. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. What do you guys think it is? A PS5? Maybe. Dude's playing video games. I love it. Parcel for you. Don't be rude. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Wow. For me? Dude is rude. And you know what's sad? People out there exist like him. Don't be rude. No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. Dick. Wow. Make a note. Dude's a dick. It's actually really rude. Very, very rude.
Oh my god. Alright, see you guys at the post office. We are right down the road from our destination. So, what do you guys think so far? Not a bad game, right? Not a bad game at all. It's nice to look at. Characters are interesting. The motel clerk is kind of a douche. You know. It's fun. It's fun. And it's on Game Pass, guys. Love me some Game Pass. Yeah, wow. Our speed slows down drastically. Shit. Missed my stop. Sorry, guys. I'm new here. But not really new, if you think about it. I'm just trying to make up excuses now. Literally going to park in the middle. Don't even care. Hey, what do you got for me? Ooh, Wednesday evening. Okay, okay. Oh, back at my house. I'm telling you, it'd be crazy if it turned into a horror there game. There it is. Hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> uh, nice one, Steve. <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yeah. Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> oh, Steve. We're gonna watch the postman always rings twice. The lady at the uh, movie store mentioned that. All right, well, let's watch this. Hopefully, it's good. Oh, come on! Oh, Steve's parcel, and a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Always thinking to me, Tess. Thank you. Oh my god, look at all the deliveries. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. positive or that key. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I got a pet. Let me make sure. Okay, so there's a package like right here. Returned videos that have not the the mini-map is not the easiest thing to read when you have so many packages. Duly noted, Angie. And do I walk up here? Oh, do I go around? Different house, right? Yeah, right talking. up here. here are some tunes. One oh two Pond Street. I wonder who lives here. Nope, no answer. Okay, it's kind of nice. Let's go! Might as well get this one done. It's just by itself, you know? Oh, it's at the diner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that one done. It's to my left. Beautiful. Oh, do I have to pick up the cat? Yeah, you know what? Let me let me drop this off, and on my way back, I'll pick up Mortimer, Mr. Mortimer, good old Mr. Mort. 
Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I did the same thing. My first part. Come on, open it up. There you go. Yeah, that snow is sticking like a mother. I might I might have to leave ahead of time. Just for safety reasons. Uh, I see her. Look at her waiting. What's up, girl? Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine. I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, actually. It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yes, she told me. How did that go for you? It was a bit weird. It was a bit weird seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you. Especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? You being one of them. <laughs> you being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? Even the name changed. Even the name wow. changed? Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Stand died? Why didn't Kay mention that? Pretty sure we talked about him, didn't we? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, Time heals I all. I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. Well said, Marie. It's not what Stan would have wanted either. I agree. It's really inspiring. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. S sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Nope. I don't think Kay even mentioned it. I can't recall. Kind of uh, weird. It's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. Hmm. Well, we need to rekindle that friendship. You know what I'm saying, guys? It was good to see her again. I've missed her, too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, Business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. The writing and is listen, pretty good. You check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? Damn. I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. No, uh, no, no, no. Let's just say I have a feeling I'll be back soon. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. 
Bye, Marine. I like I like Marine guys. I like her. She's, she's not bad, you know. She's a good person. She obviously lost her husband. Onward. Wait, 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 wait. What's that, guys? You, th you think you think I need a second cup of coffee? Hold on. By golly, you're right. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I just sneezed, so my eyes are a little watery. Excuse my my appearance. All right, guys. Let's keep this going for a little bit, shall we? It's quite enjoyable, isn't it? Oh, that's right. We gotta we gotta pick up the cat at the vet. Where was that? There's the diner. Didn't we come from this way? Oh, no, no, that's right. We went straight into the parking lot. So the vet's over here. Everything's got a reference point. Mr. Mortimer, I'm coming for you. I got you, boy. Yeah! My shadow isn't too good looking, isn't it? Or is it, I should say. It's kind of jaggedy. That's okay, that's okay. But I gotta say guys, the, the overall simplicity of the game, you know, in terms of graphics, is actually really, really well done. It's not bad at all. I'm back, and you're still holding the cat. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. Did you even do How's anything? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. Good, a night's rest good. and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Meow. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Is he not going to charge me? I'm having fun. I'm having fun. You gotta stay yes. positive. Well, that's good. Life is short. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Wise. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Yes, Have sir. Have a nice day. Okay. Mr. Mackey. Come on, Mort. Let's take you home to your uh, crazy cat lady, shall we? Whom I respect, by the way. I love me a crazy cat lady. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a crazy cat lady, minus the lady parts, you know. Here we go. Was she on the main road or was she off to the side? I forget. It's so slow. Okay. Main road, yeah, 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 that's right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I'll see you guys there. You don't you don't have to watch the entire route, you know? There's my house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, nope, not yet. She's up here. Sorry, I was going a little fast there. Can I bring my car in? Can I hit the cats? I thought I want to, I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. Look at that park shot, it's look amazing. Back. Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Goki! Mr. Mackey said not to feed him some damn cupcakes. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. What were you thinking? Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Mackey. You're welcome. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Mildred. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. Ew. Mikey. I'm honored to have helped you. 
Ooh, achievement. Look at that. Cat lover. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What a great achievement title for me. Cat lover. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now get in the damn car. Oh, excuse me, keys. All right, where are we going? Oh, there's one right behind us. Isn't that convenient? Do a little U-turn here. Yeehaw! Simple mail delivery. Nothing to it, you know? Here's your mail. That's a really nice yard. Look at that. They have a nice big tree there. They got plenty of land over here. And it wraps around to the right with the driveway part of the land. The uh, lawn, I mean. I just, I just like that a lot. And they have a basketball court. Alright, David, get off the property. They don't live here. 105 High Street. Wow, I would, I would love to live on High Street. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go. I keep, I keep pressing that by accident. Uh, we got a mail delivery way over here, so we might as well turn around and make a right. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna be tight. But we can do it. Hell yeah. We off roading. Oh, is, is this the lumberjack guy? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's gotta be. If my memory serves me correctly. Yep, there he is. Lumberjacking away. He's jacking off again. It's just mail, right? Yeah. Chopping his wood. A face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Yeah, you know what? No, 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 no. No. We're gonna call him Robert. All right. Hi, Robert. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it. Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. That's right. Last time he was a little perturbed. Oh, it gets worse. Oh every my day. God. More bull crap. More bull crap. Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lake sign for years, and now they're gonna bulldoze it, and build apartments. Huh. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Oh, well, yeah. Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw what a great word. down town hall. Bureaucracy. Oh, easy now. Whoa, 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 easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, can I help? Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. You too, Robert. Bye, Robert. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Food and drinks on me. Oh, shit. Oh, baby. Mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. Oh, yeah. They gonna get it on with some blueberry pie. Oh, baby, baby, baby. All right, get in the damn truck. Get in the truck. See ya, Robert. You sexy, sexy man, you. Where to next? We gonna go all the way up here again. So we're going to make a left and just go down the main road. Okay. And our adventure continues. After these messages. Yo, I got I to gotta learn to sit back when I console game over here. I'm, I'm always slouching forward. I got to just relax. 
I've been I've been playing a lot of PS4 on stream. That's why my my back's been bothering me. Oh, wrong house. My bad. Hey, you gotta take your mail. Ooh, interesting. I think you should be minding your own business, but that's okay, Meredith. It's okay. Onward. <gasps> I just dropped your mail off, dude. Where you going, bro? Where you going? Alright. Oh my god! It automatically breaks. Guys, this ain't GTA, you know? <laughs> the game is not gonna let you kill people. You don't do that. It's not right. Ooh, the flick shack. Hell yeah. We'll just we'll just stop in the middle of the road. Another package? Let's go, baby. It's another big one. The flick shack. What's up, baby doll? Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic. Didn't I just say that? Probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. You don't want that? <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. <laughs> Baby, keep feeding my VCR. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well... Keep feeding my VCR, and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at at five today. Like a date? What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. Um. You in? All right, I'm in. All right, I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Hurrah! Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 oh. New Street, right? How'd you know that? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. I still think there's something there, guys. Is it just me? I feel like there's something there, you know? And I'm all for it. Oh, sorry. Wow. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I am holding up traffic. I am so sorry, everybody. I was in there flirting. Here, I'll park in the grass and make it easier for you. <laughs> They're like, it's about damn time. Okay, I, I can't wrap today's video yet, guys. We need to see what's going to happen. Like, we need to see. I am so curious. What is her plan? What is she up to? This game's actually getting really interesting. I'm impressed. Oh, you see you see the treehouse back there? That was cool. Stop the van. Oh. Across the street. My bad. There you go. Enjoy. I'm calling it a day. Yes. 
I wonder what would have happened if I said, let's let's meet up at Moe's Diner instead. But because she's coming to my house, maybe things will get a little spicy. I don't know. You know? I, I, I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Do, do, do. Sorry, looking at my phone while driving. Very, very dangerous. Don't do that in real life, seriously. We're gonna park right here. End work day. Okay, cool. Meanwhile, no, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right. I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds, <laughs> but I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform, so I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Are they actually going to, like, do something about this? I, I really hope they do, guys. Uh, it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Mm. Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. Very different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Um, so tell me about this plan of yours, please. I'm dying to hear it. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, Oops. it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Wow. The future is now. Wow, this is the future of entertainment. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you. Not Everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Yeah, come on, Meredith. Which I guess is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She was a little weird, but yeah. The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's wow. It for now. Yeah, they're, they're actually in, showing real is. movies now. So, you in? Very interesting. I'm in. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more Ooh. of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Hmm. One more cup, come on. Oh, just have another cup of coffee? I'd love to, but I really can't. Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, but I'll see you soon, okay? 
Then why did you leave the shop? Bye, babe. Guys, he's calling me babe. I, mean, I know women do that to each other, but I'm still getting a vibe, you know? Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I settle down poker, there, Meredith. Fishing and margaritas? <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? No, no, no. We're not going to go there. He said you helped him out once. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. What about Mildred Jenkins? And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. Yes, she does. But that's okay. I sometimes postpone delivering her mail until she and her cats can't ambush me. Speaking of ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad. Don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, stand by me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Okay. Very nice. That's right. We get we gotta work on the retail pitch. Can't fall behind now, you know? Oh, look at that laptop, right. guys. It's beautiful, Here isn't it? Go. So portable, so light, so feather like. Friday, September fifth. Morning. It's raining. It's raining. You know what, guys? We're going to call it there. Guys, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm seriously loving this story. It's really, really interesting. I'm so curious to see if we can develop anything with the movie chick. What's her name? Angie? Yeah, Angie. So, we'll see. I mean, I, I don't know if this is the type of game that has, like, multiple stories or multiple endings. However, I will say this. I've been playing a lot of Detroit Become Human on stream. So I'm kind of like in that multiple storylines kind of mood lately. Uh, but I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. I mean, likely this, this, this game is very linear. But with that said, you know, either way, I'm very, very interested in the story. I'm very interested in the characters. And I'm just interested in seeing everything develop. And of course, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I mean, I think, I think it's a very interesting game to um, capture over time. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching part two of my lake playthrough i hope you continue to come back for part three and beyond thank you so much and please don't forget to click that like button i put a lot of time in my content so every like that i get i truly do appreciate it guys thank you thank you thank you take care stay safe out there and i'll see you in my next video peace